Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, I'm so excited about today's video because I'm finally doing my updated perfume collection. I'm loving my setup, I'm loving the fragrances that I now have in my collection, and I'm enjoying all of them. Do I want a couple more bottles? I absolutely do. <laughs> but in the meantime, in between time, I'm loving the fragrances that I have in my collection right now. So, if you wanna see a nice, long perfume collection video, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, before we get started with the video, I know there's gonna be a lot of new people coming to my video looking at my perfume collection. Now, let me answer a few of you all's questions before they even start. Yes, I have a lot of fragrances. No, I'm not apologizing for it. No, I'm not telling you how much I make. No, I'm not telling you how much my collection costs. Just enjoy the video, look at my collection. We can speak about perfume, but those details about if they're gonna go bad and why do I have so many bottles and how much does it cost and the economy, this, that, and the third, they will not be entertained here on this channel today or any day <laughs> because you will be invited to the block party. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, so let's start with this beautiful stand right here that I got from Home Goods. You guys are always asking me where I get my displays from and my trays and my stands, and I get it from Home Goods. <laughs> they always have them at Home Goods. You just have to look either in the bar section or the kitchen section. You just have to search through Home Goods, be creative, and look at things that you can display your perfume on because these aren't exactly perfume stands per se. People probably put like appetizers and cupcakes and desserts and things like that but for me it's my fragrances. So I'm not going to go into detail of all the fragrances because we will be here until next week but because I know we are all busy and we don't have time to watch a video for an entire week we're going to try to get through this as fast as we can. So guys this section right here has no real rhyme or reason. I keep my accessories here. It's just a little counter where I have things displayed. I have my Baccarat candle going. I have my bracelets and my earrings and all my jewelry and things of that nature. I have my little Tiffany catch-all here. So I just have fragrances here that I feel like just go with the aesthetic of this counter. So just very pretty, very girly. I love all of these bottles. So in this first row here, I have Lalique Soleil. Guys, this bottle is so gorgeous. Just look at this bottle. It's such a beautiful bottle. This can be taken off and be worn as jewelry. I'm not doing that. It just looks so beautiful on the bottle. So we have Lalique Soleil. It's a beautiful gourmand fragrance. It can be worn all year round. Next, we have YSL Libre, the intense. Charlotte Tilbury, uh, Scent of a Dream. It's a beautiful floral fragrance. Right here, we have Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. And this is new to my collection. Actually, both of these, the YSL and the Dolce & Gabbana are new to my collection. And I'm loving, loving them. Another one that I'm absolutely loving, which you guys know, is my Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. Look at that dent, guys. Next to it, we have Mongerlan Intense. Behind that, we have Mongerlan The Original. We have Burberry Her Intense. Love that fragrance. We have another Garland fragrance here from the Aqua Allegoria line, Ginger Picanti. Love this fragrance, guys. I wear this fragrance all year round, winter, spring, summer, and fall. It's a beautiful, spicy, sweet, ginger, candied type ginger fragrance, and I love it. Next to that, we have Givenchy Leon Tradit. This is the Original Leon Tredit. If you love tuberose, you'll love this fragrance. It's beautiful. Next to that, I told you we have Mongerlan. Next to Mongerlan, we have Bottega Veneta Illusione. Illusion. It's a beautiful tonka bean fragrance. It's a designer fragrance that to me smells rich, smells like money. I absolutely love this fragrance right here. It smells so expensive. Behind that, we have Armani C, the original C. Next to C, we have this gorgeous, I love this bottle, Oud Bouquet. It's so pretty. The fragrance is a beast. Love this so much. Next to Oud Bouquet, we have YSL Libre, the original. And guys, I got this fragrance when it first came out because look at the bottle. 
just look at this bottle it's gorgeous i needed this bottle i love ysl and i do love this fragrance this fragrance doesn't get a lot of love here on youtube but to me it's a beautiful scent it smells of niche quality it smells like money and i love it and i'll always have it although i recently purchased the intense but i still love the original next to that we have prada la femme this is the original one as well very clean work appropriate type of scent every day you know day-to-day -day type scent so this is the first stand let's cross over to the other side of the room okay guys so i refer to this section right here as balling out of control honey this is a wealthy affluent upper echelon <laughs> of the bunch here we have Rojo, we have kriegler we have some clive christian we have royal crown we have electimus guys this section right here who want to smell rich if you want to smell rich come get you one of these bottles right here okay guys so the front row we have the three roses we have creation e danger and elixir over here the kriegler we have english promenade number 19 next to her we have roja uh essence parfum of reckless here we have another kriegler look at these kriegler bottles guys these kriegler bottles are beautiful so here we have abracadabra love this fragrance this juice is so beautiful next to that we have 1872 by clive christian we have another clive christian down here which is x another beautiful fragrance that reminds me of gucci rush but just a more rich expensive smelling gucci rush so let's get to the royal crowns let me tell y'all i do not know how to pronounce half of these okay so let's just look at the bottles <laughs> so this one right here is tazar i'm going to review all of these fragrances and i'm going to do a video i just haven't gotten around to it yet but best believe i will be speaking about these fragrances and guys get your coins ready okay Get your coins ready because these fragrances are a problem, okay? So next to that, we have this one right here. I can't pronounce it, but the bottle is gorgeous, guys. Look at this bottle. Amazing. Here we have Sultan, one of my favorite gourmand fragrances. Here we have Celebration. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This one... The, all the royal crowns were sent to me by the fragrance group and soabongard.com now this one right here is strictly here for the bottle and the aesthetic of the look because this smells like it's too menthol-y for me it's a nice scent but for me it's a no because i, I don't want to smell like menthol it smells like someone rubbed vicks on you <laughs> you know like i just yeah not for me but the bottle is gorgeous i mean like seriously look at this bottle so this one right here is alchemia guys let me tell you something this right here is Gentle Fluidity Gold and Deluxe, but better. Guys, first of all, this fragrance was created long before Deluxe and MFK's Gentle Fluidity Gold. So I'm starting to think that they might have gotten their inspiration from this one right here. This one right here, guys, is a queen. It's a light, beautiful, floral, sweet, fresh version of Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi and MFK's uh, Gentle Fluidity Gold. And it lasts forever on your skin if you're familiar with royal crown fragrances you know they have no issues in performance this is so beautiful guys like seriously like i i can't here's another one that i haven't made it to speak about yet guys i have so many fragrances that i need to tell you about <laughs> but there's just not enough time in the day to talk about it we can't get into it today because we ain't got that kind of time okay guys so we're up at the tiziana terenzi shelf and here we have at hill and over there we have valorum in the middle, we have Sea Stars, we have Talea, Atlantide, and the good girl Orza. Down here, we have Delox, we have Borea, Aphrodite, we have Kirk or Kirke, we have Mirage, we have Tabit, we have Spirito Fiorentino, Draco, Cassiopeia, Lynche, and Andromeda okay guys so here we have the killian section so i have all of my killian coffrets is that what you call them <laughs> lines up in the back so here we have song of songs room spray i don't really use it but i just love how the bottle looks <laughs> next to that we have the body cream of black phantom that's so super sexy i layer that with other fragrances and then we have another body cream here for good girl gone bad so here on this side, we have the liquors, the liqueurs. 
<laughs> we have Angel Share Apple Brandy on the rocks, which I love. It gets a lot of flack, but let me tell y'all, it lasts on me. It smells amazing on me. I get compliments with this fragrance and it smells like money. <laughs> love that fragrance. In the back, we have Roses on Ice. And then I just have a little Hennessy bottle, of course, because of Killian Hennessy. So here we have Rolling in Love, Forbidden Games, Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, Good Girl Gone Bad, In the City of Sin, Travel Spray, Woman in Gold, Do It for Love, Love Don't Be Shy, one of my favorites ever, and Moonlight in Heaven. So here's my Killian section so far. Because guys, I've been loving Killian. Like seriously, I wore Killian the most this spring summer. I want more Killian, period. Here we have the Fragrance Du Bois section. So we have Oud Rose Intense. We have Oud Juan Intense or Juan. <laughs> Oud Orange Intense. Santel Complet. New York Fifth Avenue and Siberian Rose. This has to be one of my favorite sections on display. I just love how they look in their bottles. I mean, they're so regal. They smell regal. They look regal. They make me feel regal. I just love these fragrances. And you can purchase these on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20, and save 20% off of your fragrance Dubois. And also, Tiziana Terenzi. So here we have our MFK stand. So we have Grand Soir, Baccarat Rouge 540 X Straight, the original Baccarat Rouge, Gentle Fluidity Gold, and Oud Satin Mood, the oil. <laughs> Guys, if you know me, you know the fragrance of Oud Satin Mood is a bit too much for me. It leans a bit masculine on me. I still make it the really small bottle that they just came out with, but I'm still on the fence. I go back and forth every time I'm in the mall. <laughs> I go back and forth every time I'm in the mall about that fragrance. So moving over to this stand, we have the House of Siage. We have my favorite House of Siage fragrance ever, Passion de l'Amour. We have Benevolence. As you can see, I've been using her. <laughs> I love this fragrance. Behind that, we have Cherry Garden. Next to her, we have Love is in the Air. Next to Love is in the Air, we have Holtz Bijou. And here we have Cheval d'Or, a fragrance that I don't really speak about too much, but I absolutely love it and I wear it very often. So moving down to the next shelf, we have my decants. The ones with the red sticker on top are my niche decants. The ones with the yellow sticker, those are my designer decants. Here we have uh, travel sprays and purse sprays of different fragrances. We have Armani C, House of Siage, Passion de l'Amour, I love this. We have my Baccarat Rouge travel spray. Here I have my corresponding hand lotions that'll go with whichever fragrance I'm wearing for the day. So moving down to the next shelf. So this is the last shelf on that first cabinet. All the way in the back we have Carolina Herrera, good girl. Next to that, we have uh, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Midnight. We have Lalique Amethyst. Then we have Alien. So we have the two purple bottles are just chilling together. We have uh, Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense right here. We have Black Opium by YSL. We have Versace Dylan Blue. My Burberry Black, one of my favorite designer fragrances ever. It's so strong and powerful. I absolutely love it. Um, next to that, we have Trésor La Nuit by Lancôme. And next to that, we have Armani My Way, but the Intense. If you love a sweet, bubblegummy kind of tuberose, you will absolutely love that fragrance. It's so feminine and so pretty. It's so sweet. It's long-lasting. The quality is amazing. So in this next tray, we have Jimmy True Fever. We have Christian Siriano. We have Gucci Bloom Ambrosia Di Fiori. Behind that, we have Armani uh, Rouge Malachite. Behind Rouge Malachite, we have Gucci Guilty Absolute. Next to that, we have this fragrance here that one of my lovely subscribers sent to me by Our Love. This is a beautiful scent, but it also reminds me of that family of Delox, uh, Gentle Fluidity Gold, uh, Roses Musk. The bottle is so beautiful. And then next to that, we have Alien Extraordinaire. So these fragrances here are like my summer fragrances. Well, except for 
um this fragrance here my azaro wanted girl that fragrance is like a fall winter fragrance it's a beautiful gourmand scent we have um bronze goddess we have some philosophies we have the pure grace tropical summer which is so good like seriously guys it's so beautiful um we have replica beach walk we have dolce and gabbana light blue intense we have two elizabeth arden fragrances the green teas right there we have aqua allegoria coconut fizz we have another aqua allegoria limon bird we have prada infusion de iris this one is um iris cedry it's a really pretty powdery fragrance and here we have the splendida line by bulgari and this is patchouli temptation guys if you see my position right now because i'm literally all the way down on the ground <laughs> like in this weird position bent up trying to get the microphone so you guys can hear me trying to keep the camera straight and get all these angles of the fragrances this is a hot mess okay guys so all the way up top we have my biredo section there's flower head there's pulp rose of no man's land sundays 11th hour and bald yeah freak under that we have the parfums of marley shelf so we have Athalia, we have Darcy, Safanad, Meliora, Delina, the girl, the good girl, Oriana, love her. <laughs> then we have Delina La Rose or La Rose, Delina Exclusive, another one of my favorites, and Casilli. So under the Parfums of Marley section, we have BDK. So in my BDK section, we have Tuberose Imperial, we have Gris Charnel, Rouge Smoking, Velvet Tonka, uh, Passe Soir, Citrus Riviera, and Bouquet de Hongri. BDK has amazing fragrances, guys. If you're interested in BDK fragrances, you can purchase from SoAvantGarde.com using my 20% discount code, thegreat 20 and save 20% off of your BDK. All the information with my links and my discount codes will be in my description box, so please feel free to check it out. Now, under BDK, we have Tom Ford. Tom Ford. <laughs> so, we have Rose Prick, Lush Cherry, Soleil Blanc. We have Metallique, my bottle chips, and I'm so upset about. Next to that, we have Vini Fatale, one of my favorite vanilla fragrances. Next to that, Mandarino di Amafi. Behind that, we have Tuberose New, which I love. People don't really speak about that fragrance, guys, but it's so good. Smells rich, smells like money. <laughs> guys, I'm all about smelling like money and smelling expensive. Next to that, we have Santal Blush. And next to that, we have Noir Pour Femme, another one of my favorite fragrances. And then we have the backup bottle of Soleil Blanc because it's that serious for my Soleil Blanc. Like in the summertime, summer in a bottle, vacation in a bottle, I never want to be without it. So moving down to this shelf, which I mean, this is all niche. It kind of has a rhyme or reason because the bottles all kind of just go together. So the first two bottles we have by Kajal. So we have Dahab and we have Lamar. Behind that, we have our Nishane. So we have 100 Silent Ways, Ani, Hachivat, Vain and Naive, and Zen. Behind that, we have our Initio section, which I only have three Initio fragrances, but I've smelled them all because I have like two Initio discovery kits. So back here, we have Side Effects, we have Rehab, and we have Atomic Rose, which is Delina on steroids, period. So directly underneath that, we have another niche shelf. So we have Sintra by Memo, we have Guerlain's um, Spiritueuse Double Vini, we have Frederick Mall's Portrait of a Lady, we have Bois 1920 Sushi Imperial. Behind that, we have another Memo, Tamarindo, we have Instant Crush by Montal. Then we have a uh, Banna Banana by Le Artisan Perfumer. We have Amra Oud Midnight Rose. It's, that's such a sexy oud and rose fragrance, guys. And it opens up fruity. It's so good. Next to Banna Banana, we have Holidays by Mansara. Another memo, Marfa. Can you guys see? <laughs> Marfa, look at her looking at you with her little eye. It's a white floral. It's actually a tuberose fragrance, but it's so perfect for fall and winter, although it's a floral fragrance. Uh, next to that, we have Lali Bella by Memo. So all the way, all the way in the back, <laughs> we have our Montal fragrances. Only two. So there's Dark Purple and there's Rose's Musk. Next to that, we have Vicanto. We have 
Ugh, guys, I, I can't, I can't, I can't pronounce this. <laughs> it's the Silver Bottle by Vicanto, and it smells amazing. And next to that, in the Gold Bottle, we have Temptatio. So this is the last shelf in this cabinet. So we have three imaginary authors. And I just love, I don't usually keep the boxes out. But for these boxes, I had to because they're literally like art. I just love those boxes. Next to that, we have Kiali. We have our little angel roll. So we have the original angel EDP. We have uh, Angel Nova. We have the pineapple fragrance. Um, what is it? Angel Iced Star. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank right now. And then the one that's laying down, that came out in 2020. That's the Old Crocier version. And that one has a note of fig. Now, see, the one in the back, that fragrance was given to me by my father. So I have a stand for that. Then they started making them stand up. But the one in 2020, she just laying down flat. And honestly, the year that we had in 2020, listen, I'm not even mad at you, girl. Lay down because it was rough. <laughs> It was real, real rough. You still recovering from that. So next to that, we have Comtour Sud Pacifique. We have Beni Banan. We have Beni Apricot. And we have Musk and... Oh, no. Roses and Musk. No. Musk and Roses. Yeah. Musk and Roses, Beni Banan, and Beni Apricot. While I'm down here, I'll just stay down here and show you guys a Dior collection. It's a small collection, but I'm waiting for Francis Craig John to come out with a new Dior fragrance because he is the new in-house perfumer for Dior. So I'm so excited for his creation. So I'm holding out on any Dior fragrances until Francis Craig John releases his masterpiece. <laughs> so we have uh, Miss Dior. We have Dior. Uh, Jador. Everybody needs a Jador. She's so classy. She's so sophisticated. Love that fragrance. We have Poison Girl, the EDT. We have Hypnotic Poison. I'm addicted to that fragrance. I will always have that. So behind that, we have the Privé line. So we have Gris Dior, Rouge Trafalgar, Ballade Sauvage, and Spice Blend. Now, if you follow my channel, you guys know that I had uh, Fev Delicious. I had to give that away guys i can't even stomach that fragrance anymore like seriously like i don't need I, oh i cannot i just cannot okay and the one behind the preview line is dior addict up from that we have my joe malone section which is a lot of body creams as you can see i don't have that many joe malone fragrances well i only have four well i have a ton of these little ones right here but in terms of full bottles i have myrrh and tonka wood sage and sea salt lime basil and mandarin and then we have the orange peel so the next shelf up is tiffany and we have tiffany intense one of my favorites we have tiffany rose gold and we have tiffany and love and in my little tiffany bone china cups i keep in this one i have my parfum zamarli um you know decants like all my travel sprays not decants but my travel sprays of all my parfum zamarli here we have Casilli. Here we have uh, Safinade. So I don't decant my parfums of Marley. I don't decant most of them because you can actually purchase travel sprays. So if I can get the bottle, because I'm just a bottle girl and I love how they look in my purse, I'd rather get the bottle. Here we have Oriana, which, oh my goodness, guys. Oriana, love you, girl. And this is Delina Exclusive. So I don't have a travel spray for that. And here is my Delina travel spray purse spray travel spray whatever and in this cup i have my montal fragrances so here we have red vetiver we have tropical wood this is roses musk and i believe this is dark purple yes and dark purple so the next shelf up is my hermes shelf so we have Twilly D Hermes or Ginger. And then we have the original Twilly D Hermes. I just keep my Hermes boxes here just to display them. And, you know, as you can see, the Tiffany display, I have all my mugs, my candles, my body cream, my book, my rabbit bank. I have body cream over here for rose gold. And here I have the shower gel for rose gold. I leave them there and I only pull them out when I'm going to use the fragrance. Then I'll put it in the bathroom, but I don't keep it in the bathroom. So moving up from that, we have our bond number nine section. So we have Perfumista Avenue. We have a signature scent. We have Central Park West. We have Chinatown, My New York, New York Nights, and Greenwich Village. Guys, these are my favorite bond fragrances ever. Like I will always repurchase these fragrances here. Okay, so now we're by the Chanel section and 
So in the first row, we have Coco Mademoiselle Intense. Next to that, we have Coco Mademoiselle. We have Coco Noir. We have Chanel Chance. Next to that, we have Chanel Gabrielle Essence, another sweet bubblegummy tuberose kind of fragrance. And here is my purse spray, travel spray, whatever you want to call it, for my Coco Mademoiselle. Love that. And then, of course, I have the body creams, shower creams, lotions, body gels, body, 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 body. So while I'm up here, I'll show you my Creed. So we have Creed Florally, we have Creed Aventus for her, and we have Creed Love and White. The shelf underneath that, we have a little red, spicy, sexy type of section right here. So we have my Gucci Rush. This was actually gifted to me by a fellow YouTuber, Lisa DDG LA Diva. So behind that, we have Luby Crown and then Luby Croc. We have Carolina Herrera, very good girl. This section right here is just so super sexy. It gives me life. I love all my sections actually. <laughs> But I feel like this is simple, but it's just really pretty. So now we have my Louis Vuitton section with my only Louis Vuitton fragrance right now. Etoile Filante, Strawberry, Magnolia, Osmanthus. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. It's a for life fragrance, guys. It's truly a for life for me. I love it. And underneath that, we have our yellow section. <laughs> so we have Wilhelm Perfumery uh, Poets of Berlin. We have my Versace Yellow Diamond. We have Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Shine. Um, next to that, we have Sol de Janeiro Sol Cheriosa 62. And then we have the happiest fragrance in my collection, Dolce Pineapple. This yellow section literally makes me happy. And all the fragrances in this section makes me happy. Because they're very bright and uplifting and happy smelling. And I love it. So under the yellow, we have the pink. So in this section, we have Bright Crystal by Versace. We have Mon Paris YSL. Flower Bomb, we have Valentino, Donna Born in Roma, we have uh, Bulgari, it's a special edition fragrance, I forgot the name of it y'all, <laughs> but it was by um, designer Mary Kat Renzel. So behind that, we have D&G, Three Limpier Trees, we have Moschino, Toy 2 Bubblegum, I love that fragrance, it's so kitschy and it's so nostalgic for me, it's bubblegum, I used to love chewing bubblegum and you know, now I can smell like it for a little while. <laughs> Next to that, we have Amo Ferragamo Perle. Next to that, we have Dolce Garden. Then we have Atelier Cologne Pacific Lime. Now, all the way in the back, we have Gucci Bloom. We have Navitas Parfums Idola. Next to that, we have Green Tea Cherry Blossom. And next to that, we have Armani C Fiori, which I heard is discontinued. So, in this last section of fragrance, we have. Trezor La Nuit. Um, I think it's the nude one with the coconut. It's so good. Behind that, we have Passiflora by Guerlain, the Aqua Allegoria line. Here we have Erin Hibiscus Palm. Erin has some great fragrances, guys. The quality is really good. Here we have Lancome's Idole. Next to it, we have La Vie et Belle Soleil Cristal. And the final fragrance in the back is a Bulgari fragrance, um, Rose Goldea. It's a beautiful bottle. You can't even really tell because it's like hidden. Let me see if I can pick it up. See, it's a really pretty bottle. It's a beautiful rose fragrance. If you like rose, you'll like that fragrance. Okay, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Leave me some comments below. Let's talk about all the fragrances that you saw today. What do you own? What do you love? What are some of your for life fragrances? Let's talk about it like we always do. Girl, my back is hurting me. I was in some positions. I was on the ladder. Y'all should have seen the behind the scenes. It was a hot mess trying to film this video. But I did it because I knew you guys wanted to see my collection. So let's talk about it like we always do. Remember to stay safe. Be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.